Do you get seasick whether you're on a deep sea fishing trip, on a boat tour, whale watching, parasailing, you're trying to enjoy the ocean, but you just get too much motion sickness? Well, here's a quick remedy that I think is going to help you. I give this to a lot of people and it always helps them even in the roughest of the seas. Here we go. Sickness is an absolute pain in the butt. It creeps up on you when you least expect it. Even I get it. I got some friends that are commercial fishermen that get it. It gets the best of us. The people that tell you, oh, I got a strong stomach, I don't get seasick. Well, put them out there when it's super rough and smelling those diesel fumes. Um, a lot of guys might not get sick, but it gets the best of us. It gets the strongest of the man. Doesn't make you a weaker person or anything like that. There is one remedy that I really like that works really well. If I got somebody going fishing with me and I know that they get seasick, I tell them to use this remedy. And it's basically Dramamine, but doing it the correct way. Dramamine, when you take it by the directions, you get super sleepy, you get super hungry, and you almost get like, in that coma when you're out here, you can't even move. It's absolutely awful, but the right way to take Dramamine is take it the night before you go to sleep. You can try doing a half a pill or one, um, but take it the night before you go to sleep, and then in the morning, take a half a pill when you wake up with your breakfast. Now, the Dramamine is gonna be in your system and it's gonna be working. You don't wanna take it when you get on the boat, by then it's too late. You don't want to take it when you're already seasick because then it's too late. But if you get it in your system that night before, you know, it's going to knock you out. You're going to sleep like an absolute baby. And then when you wake up, have a half a pill with your breakfast and then have a half a pill like four hours later if you think you need it. But otherwise, it's already in your system. And oops, let me just get a bite. those of you guys that fish a ton you got your own boat another thing when you're active when you're driving the boat when you're putting rods out you're not good that's anti seasickness right there rarely will I get sick or will somebody get sick if I give them a job out here to do right but when you're just kind of sitting around kind of taking it all in and we're kind of rocking back and forth and especially these slow rollers they get the best of a lot of people and if there's if you're on a diesel boat and you're smelling those diesel fumes those get you pretty quick as well so so stay active i don't know people tell you look at the horizon behind you i don't know if that works i've been seasick before and i've looked at the horizon certainly did not help the only thing that works at that point is getting your butt back on dry land as soon as you come through the inlet and you're on dry land or you're in calm water it is like night and day it's like a switch right it's like all of a sudden boom and do not go into the cabin if you have to use the bathroom and you're on a boat that has a cabin a cabin is a surefire way to get seasick even myself if i go into a cabin that especially doesn't have air conditioning it's just like it's claustrophobia or something about it that just makes you feel like you know it just makes you feel ill really quick and uh even i'll get seasick if if, uh, if I'm in there too long. So if ever I have to go in the cabin to grab some fishing rods or anything, you'll see me duck in there real quick and get the heck out of there. So that's the remedy I got for you. I know it's nothing new. Dramamine's been on the market for a while, but you gotta take it correctly. Ignore the directions. If you, there is such thing as Dramamine overdose, you are just gonna be lethargic, not gonna be able to move out here, and it's not gonna be fun. You might not be seasick, but not being able to move is almost just as bad. So that's my remedy for seasickness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Also subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more fishing videos coming out, a lot more how to's, all that good stuff. I'm Captain Mug, Thrillports.com, tight lines.